The destruction of the Twin Towers was Satan's declaration that the twins were gone and that the two had become one as evidenced by the building of the One World Trade Center. The One World Trade Center's architecture represented an upside down seed joined together with the right side up seed. The Simpsons. You can see here there's a plane hitting a building that is on fire. This is Godzilla from 1998. The clock's pointing to 9 11. Uh, these two microphones are oddly held together in Gremlins 2. This was 1990. Terminator, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Iron Giant. All these movies that were before 9-11, especially right really close, like 99 and 2000, they started getting really bold with it. They even had a show at the beginning of 2001 called The Lone Gunman, and the first pilot episode was about a rogue terrorist flying the, the, an airplane into the Twin Towers, and it turned out the government knew about it and allowed it to happen. cloud of smoke and debris that came roaring down this street and everyone literally ran for their lives. At this point, the police have uh, been efforting to establish a perimeter. They're trying to keep people back and make sure that no one gets uh, interferes with their job, which is to try and uh, secure the area and then get inside that World Trade Center rubble to see whether or not they can locate any survivors who may have been inside the building or just outside the building when it came tumbling down. Uh, we want to bring in Mark Walsh, who's a, a freelancer for Fox. You live just a few blocks away and witnessed. Dude, I, was, I, was, I live on the 43rd floor of a building, which is five blocks from the World Trade Center itself. I witnessed the entire thing. from beginning to end. People talk about how it looked like a movie. I know when I came walking down here early this morning and saw both towers on fire and people on every street corner, it was, it was, it was like a movie, but you watched the planes hit the towers. I was watching with my roommate. It was uh, approximately several minutes after the first plane had hit. I saw this plane come out of nowhere and just ream right into the side of the Twin Tower, exploding through the other side. And then I witnessed both towers collapse, one first and then the second, mostly due to structural failure because the fire was just too intense. Uh, obviously, there were, there were a lot of people inside the buildings at the time. Two guys um, from the 7th Precinct, uh, the 1st Precinct, the fire department right here, the 7th truck, they, those guys are all right there at, at ground zero when those things went down. And God bless, I know there's a lot of guys there that were around there, and hopefully they made it out. What was happening around you and the streets around you as this was all going down? Absolute pandemonium. From my viewpoint, up 43 floors, I could see people running like ants, just absolutely scurrying for their lives. Billows of smoke coming through the streets, just walking down the street, just pushing everybody back. And then several minutes after, it looked like it had just snowed over the entire area. Yeah, the, the, the debris, the soot was thick on the street. You, there's still a, a, a dusting of it out here. Uh, but but when, I, when I was standing here and, and the towers collapsed, we, we saw police officers running for their lives, screaming, get back, get back, get back. And I'll tell you, that's a wake-up call when you see cops running for their lives. And people, too, women's pushing baby carriages, that sort of thing. Well, you had the first tower first. That one, when that first went down, it just pushed everybody back. And it was a good 15 minutes before the second tower finally right. collapsed. Yeah. And it was just overwhelming. And by that point, it was just insane. Well. Uh, uh, hearing a lot of similar stories from people who were inside the building. One gentleman we spoke to earlier today, John, uh, was on the 77th floor and said it was a relatively orderly evacuation at that point after the first plane hit the first tower. Everyone going down the stairs, not a lot of panic. But when they got to the sixth floor, he says they felt a second shake. And that, then people started to really be concerned. Uh, obviously, there were uh, people uh, in the building at the time of this, and, and uh, some of those people. Uh, they haven't recovered them yet, and, and that's a, a big issue right now, is trying to get the, the rescue workers and, and the emergency crews to the building. There were police officers there and emergency crews there uh, when 